What's up, travel fam? My name is Toy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more travel content. If you're already a subscriber, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Well, by the title of this video, you already know, we are going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about the carnival Mardi Gras. Yes. So we're going to get into it and I'm going to let you guys know my opinion and my pretty much overall review of the ship. So if you are interested in that content, make sure you stay tuned. So we're going to get right into it. Okay, guys, I went on Carnival Mardi Gras. Now, Carnival Mardi Gras was built in 2020 and its maiden voyage was in July of 2021. It was delayed a year almost due to COVID. And um, yeah, so it was the first class in the XL ship and it holds about 6,300 passengers and almost around 200 or so crew members. And it cost $1 billion to make. That's a lot of money. And um, with this ship, it has 19 decks. 18 of those are passenger decks. It also has five pools, five jacuzzis. It has 12 restaurants and uh, bars or like uh, restaurants and little eateries. And then there are 11 bars on the ship. And... It also has seven lounges and it also has the first roller coaster at sea boat. So this ship is massive. Let me just tell you right off bat, the ship is humongous. Okay. So this is definitely a different type of ship than Carnival normally makes. And you can tell right when you look on, uh, step on step on the ship, really, you just, it's like, wow, this is definitely different. It had a different feel about it. So I was excited. Um, so we're going to just talk, uh, talk about the good. Let's just be positive. Let's start off positive, okay? Um, positive with the Carnival Mardi Gras, the good. The food options. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about the food options. It was delicious. There were multiple food options. It was a plethora of options, if you will. And I mean, I'm not mad at it. And I went on, when I first went on the ship and we did the main dining room on the first night and I never made it back to the main dining room. That's how many options it is. We never made it back. And we just were trying to try all the new restaurants that they had and all the new, the street eats and everything. Guys Burger, it was just endless. Shaq's Big Chicken, wonderful. Everything was delicious. Um, Chibang, you know, they also had the Italian restaurant, uh, Cucina del Capitano, and we ate there twice. We ate at Chibang, ate at Chibang twice as well. So we never just really got back around to the main dining room, but it was just a lot of options. So I give Carnival a big plus for food options that are free. Okay, now they do have a couple restaurants that are upcharges like the seafood um Rudy's Seafood Grill and the Steakhouse. But majority of the options are free and, you know, whatever you want. So that was definitely a plus. Um, Bolt. Bolt is another plus. Definitely good. It's different. It's, some, it's a thrill. You know, if you like a little thrill, the boat is definitely for you. It's the first sea coaster at, well, the first roller coaster at sea. And it was fun. I mean, I think you should definitely do it at least once. You know, I did it twice on Mardi Gras, but hey. But yeah, I think it's worth it just at least one time just to try it, just to say you did. But it was really fun and you get to go around twice. It is a fee, I think uh, $15 if I'm not mistaken, but eh, it's worth it for at least one time. What else? Um, just the overall people and the staff. I think the atmosphere was just amazing on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Everybody was there to have a good time and you you could see it. Everybody was there relaxing, chilling out, hanging, dancing. Everybody was, was cool. Very good vibes. I love the vibes. The staff was amazing. Staff was great. Very friendly. Uh, you know, 
very, uh, had a lot of customer service. Um, so it was, you know, top notch right there. And of course it's the Carnival Mardi Gras. So that's an A plus in my book. Music was good. Music was good. It was something for everyone. Um, the shows, um, were, they were okay. The shows were good. They weren't spectacular. They weren't like horrible. It was just like right in the middle. They were good. It was something to see, especially the LED lights in the Grand Central. That's something that you should definitely check out. They did have like, um, people swinging from the ceiling. So it was kind of like a lot going on uh, for some of the shows. So that was different. And yeah, so you should definitely check out the shows on the Mardi Gras if you can. What else? The comedy was great. Um, of course, I love stand-up comedians. I mean, they're not all spectacular, but the ones that were on there at the time were pretty decent and pretty funny. Um, so I didn't have any issues with that. Uh, the Serenity deck was another plus as far as it, it, they had new padded chairs. They were thick padded. So I was like, okay, cool. Had a nice jacuzzi back there. They had, also had a pool back there in Serenity. Of course, they had the Tides bar and then they also added um, the Fresh Creation salad bar. So that's something new. I didn't try it out. I didn't get a chance to, but next time I definitely will. And uh, that's something to definitely check out. And they also have like a little canopy so it can kind of block the sun so sun is not directly hitting you. So that's uh, a good sign for the serenity deck on carnival mardi gras anything else let me see oh yeah just one little tidbit they do have an iron room on carnival mardi gras if you didn't know it's on deck four so if you do need to iron something i know they don't have irons it's on deck four and you can go and get your wrinkles out boom you're welcome okay now let's get to the bad the bad is um the venue space. I would say the venue space, and I'm talking about the size of the venues. If you kind of compare to the older ships, and that's you know what I can go off of, the older ships had more space in, you know, as far as for the venue. So for the comedy clubs, the punchliner, the spaces were bigger, had more seating, right? And then the clubs on if you go on the older ships were bigger, way bigger dance floors, you know. You're able to move around and they had a lot more seating in the club. So the spaces were bigger um, as well as like the theater. I mean, the Mardi Gras theater was small. It looked like a high school type of little auditorium. It was nothing spectacular about it. It was very average. And I was kind of like very underwhelmed with that theater. Now I know they probably didn't want to make it huge because they did have the Grand Central area where they kind of, I think, used that as well to hold shows and, you know, they kind of went with both of them, but I don't know. The, the, the Mardi Gras theater was very plain to me and they held a lot of different events in that uh, theater, but it wasn't um, how they used to be bigger, I should just say. So that's definitely was not good. I was like, wow, the club was small. You know, I was like, wow, it was the uh, Spotlight Lounge. So it was definitely smaller than I was used to, smaller space. So imagine you have all these people on a ship and they want to go into this club. It's like, eh, you know, so mm, that's something to take into consideration. Um, yeah, so that was bad for me. What else? Um, the buffet. The buffet on Carnival Mardi Gras was definitely not the best. It was definitely below average. It was just eh, very blah. They didn't have a lot of choices at the buffet. Um, I didn't really care for it. I think I ate there one time for dinner. But I understand that they're not really going all out for their buffet because they have so many other food options. So it's kind of like... Eh, whatever, you know, I guess the buffet is there if it's just like you just want to go to the buffet real fast. But it wasn't anything spectacular knocking me off my feet as far as the food at the buffet. But, you know, like I said, they have other food options. So it kind of balanced out. But just to let you know, the food is not that great at the buffet. So, you know, it's kind of average. So don't go in there looking like, oh, my God. 
you know, it's, 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 it's average. So, um, but there's a whole plethora of options besides the buffet. What else? Camp Ocean. Okay, the location of Camp Ocean, if you have kids, anybody who has kids out there, because I do, if you have kids, the location of Camp Ocean, I don't like it. It's on deck four, just so you know, and it's not, so it's below deck five, so you can't get to it if you're on deck four, if you're in the aft or if you're in forward. You can only get to deck four to Camp Ocean midship. So that means that if you're in the aft of the ship and you are on deck four or, or, or on deck six, you have to go down to deck five or go up to deck five, walk all the way to midship, then take the elevator down to deck four. It's just like, I don't like how that design is, but because I was, when I was trying to find it, I couldn't. And I'm like, how can I, where is, you know, I'm all on the hallways of deck four and it just wasn't leading me to anything for Camp Ocean. And I realized I had to go midship, but I had to go up and over and down. It was a mess. They could have put that in a different location, but whatever, that's my opinion. Um, okay, managing a bolt really fast was not the best. Okay, on sea days, the people who manage bolt, you guys have to get it together. Literally, it was almost a fight. If you guys saw my Mardi Gras series when I was getting on bolt, I kind of let you know, but just give you a little bit more information on that. They, You can schedule your time frame for bolt on the app, okay? And then when you come, you're in line. Now, there are also people who who didn't schedule through the app. So they were coming in the line to schedule their reservation at the, in the line. So they had one line and everybody's on a line. So, and they had one person with an iPad who's checking people in. Now there are people in this line who do not have a reservation. So now you have a whole line where people who have reservations and people who do not have reservations. And it's causing a long line and it's causing a wait for people to go up for their time frame because you're taking people people's reservations when, hey, I have an appointment at three. It's three o'clock, I can't go because you're taking five people in front of me who is just putting in their reservations. That should have been a whole separate line. You should have had somebody here who's taking reservations for now and then people who already had their reservations so that they can go at their scheduled time. People were waiting in line and then people were getting upset and some people almost got into a fight because it was like, it was one, uh, it was a, a group of people who were in front of me and then it was a one lady in front of them and then when she goes to tell them, tell the guy, the worker like, hey, oh, I have eight people but it's just her in the line. The people behind her were like, no, 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 no. Because now that's put it, pushing them back. So she was waiting in line and then she goes, oh no, I have like eight people. So, so now they gotta make reservations for eight people. And they were kind of like, the people behind her were like, no, that's not fair. You know, you those people should have been in line. You over here holding spots for eight other people. That's making us wait longer. Anyway, it's just a, it was a headache. They should just, like I said, should have had more people there. They could have handled it better. Hopefully they do next time. Um, but that's a different story. Um, what else? I think, okay. I think that's all of my bad for the Mardi Gras. Let's go to the ugly, shall we? The ugly. The elevators. What? what is going on with the elevators? They're horribly small, okay? It was super small, I didn't like it. Second of all, the buttons on the elevator were like on the side of the door. They're not like where they normally are, like when you come in and you're facing the doors and the elevator's right there, you press the button. No, they're like on the side wall. So now you have to say, hey, excuse me, excuse me, to get to the button when people are leaning all on. Listen, why did y'all make the buttons on the side wall? I don't understand why. Put it facing forward like normal buttons. So when you come in, you can just tap it instead of having to go to the side and telling people, excuse me, and then they pressing buttons. It was like, and then the elevators were too small. 
everybody was cramped in, which made embarkation horrible because embark and I know embarkation is already horrible regardless because it's embarkation and everybody's trying to get on the ship. But when you have small elevators and you have less elevators when you come in, because Mardi Gras only had like eight elevators and then they were smaller. Normally on the older ships, you have at least 10 because you have the four elevators with the glass windows and then you have, I think three or six within the middle. So that was like 10 and they were a little bigger. This is like, whoa, you have small elevators and you have less of them. Didn't make any sense to me. It made it horrible for embarkation. Um, if you can walk to your room, I would highly suggest you do that. I couldn't, I had a baby with the stroller. So I had to wait for the elevators and it took forever. I mean, forever. And I, it was hard because we couldn't catch an elevator. And then it, it, when you got an elevator, it was already packed. Long story short, you guys know how embarkation is, but it just, I feel like it made it worse because the elevators were smaller and then there were less of them. So that was not good. I mean, once you get past that, it's okay, but it's just like, whoa. Um, Havana Suites, I feel like it's part of the ugly. I don't think it's worth it at all. You're paying thousands more dollars and it's just like, these are the balconies that you get. No, I didn't really like it. Um, if you, like I said, if you watched my video, I showed you. And I saw some of those Havana Suite balconies when you were in the front. You had a view of the, the 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 bow of the ship, the front of the ship. You didn't even see the ocean. You saw where the crew members were. And it was like, it wasn't a view at all. Okay, it wasn't a view at all. Havana, I don't, you know, I don't think it's really worth it. I walked into the Havana Suite. I didn't even have a band on. I mean, whatever. They, I think they have a little pool or a jacuzzi in there, but... You know, it's nothing extra special about it. I don't, I don't think. So if you want that, okay, but it's, I don't think it's worth the price that they're charging. Um, what else is horrible? Oh, I just, the, the okay, the bartenders at Pig and Anchor, this is on my sailing. I don't know about anybody else's sailing on Mardi Gras, but on my experience on Pig and Anchor, the bartenders at Pig and Anchor at night were horrible. Everybody else, the staff is great. You know, I don't talk bad about the staff. I'm always like, yes. But when I went back there every time, they were slow. They didn't acknowledge you. They were always just talking to other people, you know, and it's like, you got to be quick about it. Every other bar or bartender, they were, hey, what do you need? What do you need? Can I help you? Then they're looking at you and I'm like, okay, can, hello, can I get a drink? You know, it's like I'm bothering them. It's like, what are you, what is going on? But again, that was my experience on my sailing. And I just didn't really care for the bartenders and pink at anchor. That was, that was it. Um, so I think that is it guys for my good, the bad, the ugly. Overall, I had a great time though. Love the Carnival Mardi Gras and I will be uh, on celebration. I'm not going to get into that because I'll do a live to let y'all know my upcoming plans for this year. But overall, the cruise was great. Um, just a few things for you guys to look out for with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, if you guys been on Mardi Gras, let me know your experience. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know. Let's talk about it. As usual, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for su supporting me. I have more content for you all. And I will see you all in my next video.